Wow, so one of the top things posted in my subreddit is Power World is getting the first raid battle soon featuring a giant goth girl that is sure, <laughs> I'm sure people will be very normal. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw this thing. It's kind of like a little goth Gardevoir, a goth Gardevoir. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he's got the, like, white fingers and the dress and everything in there. Look, man, these guys know what they're doing. This is coming from the people that made entry number 69, Love Ander. These people do things with a purpose. And you know who, what this purpose is. Anyway, what's cracking, guys? And welcome back to the best place on the internet. My videos, the second best place, though. <laughs> is to be on the Lost Paws subreddit where, you know, it's a place that we all just kind of get together, we make memes for each other, and it's our community. Besides, of course, YouTube, or also my other socials. But if, regardless for now, let's just get straight into this. I, you guys can send me fan mail too. My birthday's coming up here on the 29th. Um, so, you know, if you want to send any birthday gifts and stuff like that, feel free. But for now, let's get to it. The creator of this, Baki, has a daughter that created B-Stars. Ah, uh, yes. One has a character that's completely surrounded by people that want to eat them alive. And the other one is B-Stars. <laughs> yeah, you see the bait and switch there. But yeah, it's very cool that, uh, you know, the person that created Baki was able to have another successful manga slash anime creator too. That's that's like the dream, man. Like, imagine a YouTuber gets to have a YouTuber family. I mean, that would be, that'd be dope. I'm passing on the business, I guess. Oh, Oshinoko. In the novel, it was revealed that Ruby and Aqua don't share the same DNA, so it's okay for Aqua to bang her, but the source is... Okay, you're not gonna get me to say the source out there, all right? <laughs> you thought this was a spoiler? No, that was a clever, clever ruse. Pretty sure they came from the same, you know, mother. I mean, it was quite clear that they did. All right, so we have like uh, some gladiator and someone's like doing something to their arm and then, oh, and the lady with some money and ancient Romans bought vials of gladiator sweat. In ancient Rome, wealthy women would buy vials of sweat and dirt scraped from the skin of famous gladiators and use it as face cream. Only Centurion would know, uh, actually draw this little factoid out here you know history kind of repeats itself so it makes sense i mean instead of gladiator sweat we're getting gamer girl bath water you know like i just history really do repeat itself just in different ways oh this one was upvoted a lot all right wow your ice cream tastes great how did you make it and it's uh, a alolan vulpix which is the vulpix it, it's a secret i mean there's a number of things that this could potentially mean one of them being the obvious, you know, like the Starbucks meme girl, where it's like, hey, can I have, you know, some coffee made from your... And the other one just being the vanilla, or the ice, the ice cream cone Pokemon. You could just be eating a Pokemon. Both are kind of concerning, but after, you know, delicious in the dungeon, uh, <laughs> so, like, I mean, maybe, maybe it actually it's not so bad. All right, so we got the top, and, you know, just bathing your Pokemon. Yeah, that's pretty normal out there. I mean, you do that in the game. And then, you know, their middle evolution, and, you know, it's a little bit. I mean, they're still your Pokemon, though. And then the final, okay. Well, now we're getting into dangerous territory, I see. <laughs> I mean, like, it's in the game. You can bathe your Gardevoir, your Lucario, or your Pikachu and Eevee. Like, I mean, this is like, is it really that strange? I don't know, but I guess it's at a point, like, I don't know. If you view them just as like normal pets and animals, I guess it's just like, what it is, I don't know. So why would you make evolve low pony in the bath though? Why would you make evolve it just to bathe? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, okay, and whoa, Duck Trio, I'm gonna catch you. And it, wait, is that it's, no, as it turns around and e yeah. <laughs> Dear Lord, it's got two tumors. <laughs> Maybe that's why it's always underground, because it doesn't want to show you its cancerous Popeye tumors or whatever is coming out of it there. <laughs> but really, I know what it is. Pun intended. Hair colors in Japan in real life, and it's all just black. And hair colors in Japan according to anime, and you have the full spectrum out here. <laughs> just of everything. It's fantasy for a reason. It's, it's not supposed to just be all the same hair. That would be boring. Okay, it's fine. I get it. Besides, not everything takes place in like Japan out here. Come on. Yeah, I got that D12. Okay, a D6 inside of a D6, I suppose. 
That's not exactly correct, though, because with that kind of die, you can never lo roll lower than a 2. So that is a technical advantage. You could not crit fail with that die. So that, you, you can't really use that, although it is kind of clever. So this is breathtaking by OK Breath. I, I didn't actually mean to do that. But anyway, and it's a hate chief, and it's Lily. It's very cute. Oh my god, man. I love it. Yo, her neck be long though, man. She. <laughs> I honestly, and there's no jelly filled donut to surprise me here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. So, an animation by Jenny? <laughs> oh, Fern doing the cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much accurate. It's it just in, you know, cat. Then again, anime girls are, you know, designed to be cats, you know, they're, they're literally designed after cats. So, I mean, just using cats' voices with the anime cat characters, it makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's see what's in this thing. Alright. Yeah! Whoa! What? No. Not this stupid. Oh my god. I don't know why, but I just see this meme everywhere, just... People pulling out these beers. I feel like this is just like a targeted meme ad campaign, and now I just advertised beer for free. You know how Gardevoir used to be the Poke what? YFO out here, but now we're everyone's looking at Sprigatito. Yeah. I Sprigatito was literally the, I trending mean, on Twitter I, the other day. I see what's going. Meowscarada looking that up. That's Meowscar. You were holding that one in. I can't just like troll you with the name. I can't. I mean, technically, it it was a Sprigatito at one point, but like, okay, man, you really, you really just gotta. He just you had to just do that. You know, you really felt like you had to do that. So I've been playing catch up with Lost Pod videos. Sorry, this is so lame. And uh, it's that EV lamp, the LED thing. This is getting out of hand. Now there's three of them. <laughs> I'll be real with you. I think there's a lot more than three. <laughs> I think we have four actually. Zash has got one. I think three of you guys have sent me this EV LED. I have so many of those EV LEDs, guys. I don't know why, but for some reason, it's, I just get more. Oi, Noble. You should call me Shik, cause uh, I'm head ogre heels over your Scottish axe. Oh my god. Oh my god. You really, you really made this Gloria Hart meme just for me to speak in my Scottish accent and do a Shrek joke. <laughs> Congratulations. Ashley off camera, shy. Ashley VTuber form, Ashley. <laughs> Wasn't well, that how it works? You know, you put on a VTuber to like. You know, get rid of like your fleshy you know, restraints out there, and you can just be pure personality. That's the whole point. You can you can be as crazy as you want to be. And now something for a little bit different. I'm visiting the Lost Pause Discord, which you guys can join. It's a perfectly good and normal community that you can join at Discord. Make some friends, chat around, and then we also share some memes like this. Zelda reads Link's uh not a live note. Dear Zelda, yeah, yeah, huh, what? The fact that he can actually put Dear Zelda and his name together is in actually kind of impressive. <laughs> Rather than just the other stuff. He actually knows words! Oh, we're speaking about Frayron with cats with an artwork by Jay Humbo, and there's Frayron inside the mimic, and Fern slams the chest on top like a normal cat. I've seen too many cats just slamming other their friends and just inside boxes all the time. I don't know what makes them so evil, and even the, the pout face is accurate on par. I told you they were cats, and now they're actually cats, alright? He gave me a side quest, as you can see, it's just... Oh yeah, there's like a little thing on the wall there, and... A quest acquired, pet the kitty. Requirements, pet the kitty. Reward, petting the kitty. <laughs> I feel like if there was an actual RPG, there should be just a, a random quest where you just see a cat, and then you just go around and you just pet the cat, and then you get quest completed. <laughs> you pet the cat. <laughs> There's like an achievement that pops up, you pet the cat. Someone can't heal people. 30 year old me got a cat, and the cat being like, Sorry bro, there ain't no way I can fix this, <laughs> it's some spine injury. Aw oh, man, you're telling me cats aren't magical, man? Why is there so many cat jokes here all of a sudden? What's going on here? What's that on the end of your staff, Zizok? This is my palatier, a magical seeing stone. Only the truly great wizards are trusted with their safekeeping. What do you use yours for? Mostly poor. <laughs> Wait a minute. I mean, if you can see anything, 
I mean, that that would be a powerful wizard. It's something that you would a powerful wizard would probably do. <laughs> At least he's honest. Oh, we got something by Camiar. Oh wait, that's Yaimiko in her fox form. And okay, she's got the handle trying to squeeze through the door like a obsessive pet would. And it's so happy at the feet of Raiden Shogun is trying to take care of business. <laughs> Why are pets this intrusive? <laughs> the fact that that's Yai Miko though, um, is kind of concerning to say the least. Because that's a kind of human, but just a, I guess one that's really obsessed with their friend. I don't know. Now this is some good environmental storytelling. I was fighting for my life as the man has his foot imprint there, and <laughs> I can't believe we got two potty humor jokes in the same video, one back to back. But I mean, I guess we got it. And we got one last artwork by Banana Lad out here, featuring vodka, my fluffy Vaporeon, and potatoes. So it's a small little potato, and it's very wholesome. And you can see just the poopers and the whooper. I, I, I mean mudkips in the back. Uh, I messed up, man. And there's a flying Pikachu actually in the background there too. Ah, uh, he's not a balloon Pikachu, but I mean that's close enough. And there is actually another Pikachu on the bottom there, I see. Why is it like a ghost though? He's like kind of transparent back there. Also, Vodka has the Konoha like necklace <laughs> or something like that. There's no village sign from what I'm saying though. And that's gonna do it here for our Lost Pause Reddit video. I hope you guys enjoyed this as always. If you did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, do all that other stuff. Give yourself a like actually. Go to the comment section, type something, and then give yourself a like. I, I will permit it this time if every single comment doesn't have a like. I will know who you are. <laughs> Regardless though, uh, yeah, if you guys want to send me stuff, reminder the P.O. Box is going to be probably next week, the next time we do this, so make sure you do it. And I'll see you beautiful sons of guns again next time.